I want to talk about swing. You know, a lot of guys swing, and particularly when you hear Primo's tracks, they got this nice, cool MPC swing to it. And I've noticed here in the MPC software some quirk to actually whether it actually defaults to the setting of that track. And we're going to swing right now. So I have a track set up here. Let's play it back from the top. Uh, we'll hit play start. Almost an old school straight up beat, right? And you see we have some different values here, as you can see, for our velocity values for this hi-hat. Now I'm going to go here. Let's see. I want to go here to this track view. Or in track view here. And I may want to swing these hi-hats. So um, you're going to select the track first of all, right? So select the track here. Or I can go to here. And I can select tracks. You can see right there, right? So I'm going to go back to select the hi-hats. They're selected here. To highlight it and you can tell because it's a white border around each one of the events for the hi-hat so i'll go here to time correct and i'll choose settings now here in settings we see the time division and we see the swing value of the window and the strength so 100 percent strength here and i'm only going to swing selected events as you can see next to events i have options one is swing everything, swing selected events, or swing just a certain range, right? I want to do with selected, so we're selected with the hi-hat. I'm going to really overdo this. I'm going to go to about 75. And I want you to notice maybe right around here how these two will probably change. See, these moved over a little bit to add that swing to it. You saw that? So now we'll play it back from the top. Now, if I choose another track, let's choose something else here. I want to choose the snares, this track. So now we see snares here, right? And I'm going to go right here to the snares. They're chosen. Back to settings. Go to settings values here. And we see it says 75, right? Well, actually, nothing has been done to the snares. It's just showing you that that's the way it was left what i would prefer to do is to go back to the default value of what you selected and here it's not doing that so i don't know so let's say i want to make the snares do something else i'm going to go back to here i may leave them at about ooh, 85 I may want to just shift them ahead a little bit just shift them ahead just a little bit and press do it and see they all move forward a little bit right there right Let's play it back from the top. Coming much stronger. And you can hear the hi-hat swing. Now as I choose another instrument. Let's say I choose a kick drum right here. And that's chosen. And here's my kick drum right here, right? See the events for it? And we're chosen here. Let's go back, matter of fact. Let's go here. I want to see one more thing here. It's five. One is a kick drum right here. And now we're choosing a kick drum right there. It's a kick drum, right? And my events are chosen now. Let's go back here to settings. And you see now it says 55 and it's a minus one shift, which I prefer to do also is just show me the truth of what's going on here. So don't get caught up into thinking that you aren't doing your job right and it's not coming out right. Because I had a client call me about this. And I wanted to explain this to everybody that when you're actually time correct and you're shifting something and you swing it inside the track, you're only going to see the last time you use it, the settings that it was set for then. In this case, my last settings were 55 for swing and minus one for the shift. And hopefully, Akai will correct this so that whenever you do select a new track, it'll show you the values for that track. And that's what I wanted to say today about using swing in the MPC software. This is for the MPC Renaissance, the MPC Studio, and the brand new MPC Touch.